Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, I wanted to take some time to give my thoughts on the newest updates. Since we've got a new event that we've never seen before, and we've got a new summon, and, uh, you know, I did a video yesterday and, you know, kind of talked about why, you know, some of the things I wish could be done better, etc. And I want to kind of follow up on that and see if any of those things actually rang true. I'll start with the summon here. Leviathan. Normal was fine, hard one, hard two, very hard one. I would say around very hard one was where the difficulty kind of picked up and I actually had to adjust my lightning team. Because I just used my standard lightning setup, uh, you know, just a team that I use for farming for everything before that. And I needed to do a little bit of adjustment for very hard one. That same adjustment worked quite well for very hard two. I further adjusted for very hard three, and I think very hard three took me three attempts. Three attempts, which to me is is pretty easy because it was very obvious each time what I was lacking. I, you know, changed that around and there we go. And by the way, if anybody's having trouble with this, if, if, it's, if there's enough demand, I think, for a video on very hard three, I'd be happy to make a guide for it. It's really difficult to know how many people need these guides now because the I feel like there's been so many different times where new players have started and I just don't know how quickly those accounts are able to get up to speed. But then there's EX1 and to one of the points I made in the last video where it's like I feel like there is just suddenly a massive spike in power. They're not very good at gradually increasing the power. EX1 is like, I don't know, I mean I've only attempted it maybe six or seven times but that was enough for me to kind of figure out that um i just don't have what it takes to do it uh you're basically trying to do two things at one time stay alive but also do enough damage like you got to kill his lightning gauge to do enough lightning damage or his first big tidal wave doesn't just you know do ten thousand plus damage to you but also he's buffing his magic attack debuffing your magic defense and hitting you the whole time so that becomes an issue. And then if you do survive and he gets into the sigil break phase, it feels like you need two people that have, you know, plus like the, you need a basically one person that has a boost triangle and one person that has a boost X sigil to get through it while healing yourself the whole time because he continues to just spam AOE magic shots at you. Um, and so... Yeah, basically, it feels like the difference between EX1 and Very Hard 3 is like, I don't know, maybe 4 or 5x harder. And so you just drop off. Um, I mean, it's fine, but it's like I was having fun figuring out how to beat Leviathan. And then suddenly I'm so far away from being able to beat this. I mean, it's not even close. I can't even get him, like I said, I think below 25, eight, I, I think below 80% HP is, I, I haven't even hit that threshold yet. And well, you know, how many times you try that with like such little luck, no matter what you're doing to where you're like, well, okay, um, I'm not playing this anymore just because it's so hard. I don't see the end inside. I just need time to get my account stronger or for new weapons or whatever to come out. Um, I think that's kind of an issue. I don't know how many other people are having that same problem, but I imagine enough, right? And that's that's just kind of, I don't know, it's sad because I at least wanted, if I could get this guy down to at least like 50% HP, that makes me think, okay, I just need to be able to figure this out a little bit better. I'm not even close at the moment. And I also... I also don't really like when they release content ahead of schedule as far as there's certain weapons that they will release later that will make this doable, but right now we don't have them. Maybe that's fun for whales. I don't know. I don't find it as fun for me because I'm like, I feel like you're just releasing stuff to make me want to have to summon later to get something. Um, and I don't know. I, I just, I don't, I don't, it doesn't sit quite right. With me. Okay. On to the event. Uh, the event I have also like mixed feelings about. I, for the most part, like it. I'd really be curious to know what everybody else thinks, though, because 
this is, I don't know, just a little bit different than what I was expecting, but also at the same time kind of in line. So I will start with the general reward setup. Um, so you come in and you have the trials and there's two of each one for now. I don't know if, I mean, the, the event's only like six days long, so I don't know if they're going to release any more stages or not, but I can tell you the first time clear rewards are, I thought, really good especially for how easy this was. Um, okay, so you knock those out and then you come in and you can do these free challenges. And there's one where you can do it once per day and it says additional 50,000 points. And where this can get a little bit tricky is that there's two different points totals, right? One is an accumulation of points that you're getting from every time you clear. And then another one is just what is your highest score I think on either one of these and then that is what goes towards your event ranking so um, I'll get back to the event ranking in just a second but if we look over here at rewards you can see total point rewards right so here I am at 411,000 and honestly I haven't played it that much I mean I did enough to clear each thing one time and then I did I think one of the free you know plays one extra time something around there and here I am. Now, I like this idea. Uh, I've seen this done in other gacha games, and I like this where you, there's a reason to keep playing, and instead of getting stuff to buy out a shop, it's just hit these totals and you get these rewards. I really like that style better than clearing out a shop personally, or it could be done in, in tandem. But the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is, um, and I know this event's only six days long, but it caps at 1.5 mil, and I feel like it should cap much higher than that. And the the rewards don't have to be super super good higher than that. But I was I was already able to get almost a third of the way there by playing this uh, event for like I don't know 20 minutes, something like that, 15. Which means like basically you're telling me in an hour I could have this cleared. I don't know. I, that's fine. I just wish it went a little bit higher. I don't think it would hurt to go higher. And then there's a stage level reward, which I believe is when you do the free ones, and I'll show in a second, as you set them up, you know, the stage level goes higher and higher, giving you better boosts. Um, you can, you know, obviously go all the way up to 130. Uh, the rewards are kind of shitty, to be honest. Uh, like 125 and 130, it's like 100 crystals. I would think the max stage level should be something at least like 500, if not a thousand crystals. Uh, maybe that's not achievable for everybody, but geez, I mean, it, it feels like it might take a lot to get there. Anyway, um, whereas this, I don't feel like it takes that much uh, and the rewards seem way better. I mean, 500 crystals for getting to a million? I I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn there, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, the rankings, this is very similar to what we've seen in the past where, you know, basically if you're top 100, you don't get penalized for not being in the top 10. Uh, you, you do get a little bit different of a, you know, background frame thing, but whatever. And then even at 300, you're not that penalized, right? Um, you're getting essentially five less of everything. So, and I feel like top 300 should be super doable for anybody who really cares. Okay, so... The way the actual ranking system works, and I'll click here. Okay, so I'm in a, I'm ranked 132 with a score of 51,040. And it took me a little bit of time to figure out how that was calculated because we have two different battles that we can do. Now, I don't think you can find out, like when you click on these, it, it won't show you your highest score, which I think it should. Uh, but I can tell you, oddly enough, even though I have water stuff a little bit uh, and I don't have almost any earth, that score that I got, that 50 whatever thousand, was from clearing this one right here. And what I cleared it with was this exact battle effect right here. Um, I'm obviously going to go higher. I'm going to work on it more. But as like a, you know, let's mess around with this and see where I can get. I didn't have any problem whatsoever uh, clearing this with these battle effects in play, and I don't even have any earth damage. It's literally just a physical, non-elemental damage team. I think, you know, 
could do probably better if I did have a big earth hitter or something like Lucia, but I don't. Um, and then in the water one, I was able to do less, but this was kind of where I was and I could probably do better here as well. Um, but just to kind of maybe give an example of where I am only, sorry, this was my water team that I used if anybody cares to know. And then really Cloud's the only person that hits hard with water, but I am using Kate Sith to get up to that high potency water uh, debuff. And yeah, I'll tinker around with that. I think it's kind of fun to have only like one battle that you're tinkering around with instead of, you know, a whole dungeon because it takes a lot longer to run that. This, this can be tinkered with and played and then tinkered again, you know, which to me, uh, I kind of like the feel of it. I think this has a really fresh feel to it. I like that it's short, only six days, because potentially this could be something that they release way more frequently, maybe even once a week or once every other week. I think that would be cool. I just, I this I think is moving in the right direction and I would love to know what everybody else thinks. Again, these are kind of preliminary thoughts. Uh, you know, I've probably spent, like I said, 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes messing around with this, um, but I do like it. And again, back to the summon, I am excited to have Leviathan, although, you know, uh, the difficulty ramp up, you know, it's just a little bit sketch for me. So let me know what you guys think. Also, one more thing. Uh, you know what? I, I am going to go ahead and release the Discord information. I will put that in my description here. So feel free to come hang out, uh, do whatever. You know, it's, it's pretty much where I'm going to spend... Most of my time while I'm on Discord is going to be in my own because there's so many different Discords and it's kind of hard for me to keep track of them. So anybody who wants to do that, feel free to join that. And, you know, maybe a guilds will come out eventually. I know there's been some leaks where they're still adjusting some stuff, you know, in that. And I'm guessing that means that they're going to try to have that released sometime within the next, you know, maybe four to six weeks, something like that. So uh, anybody who, you know, is constantly... You know, I see around my channel commenting, whatever, um, or, you know, in the Discord. Those would be the first people that I would, you know, ask to be a part of the guild or, you know, whatever, if there's limited space. So just kind of keep that in mind. And that's all I have. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.